The new diverging diamond interchange at 1100 South and I-15 in Brigham City functions much like the one at American Fork Main Street shown here. A DDI works differently than other interchanges, with cross points at each end of the bridge. This may seem a little disconcerting at first, but these cross points are actually the reason DDIs function so smoothly. They allow for more open traffic flow between the freeway and the interchange. Since driving a DDI will be a little different from what most of us are used to, let's take a closer look at how a DDI works. Let's say you're traveling eastbound and want to get on I-15 heading south. As you drive toward the interchange, you'll get in the farthest right-hand lane and simply merge onto I-15 southbound. Easy enough. But what if you want to head north on I-15? In that case, you'll move into the leftmost lane as you approach the intersection. As you cross through the intersection, you'll notice cars on your right, stopped at the traffic light, and a lane on your left with vehicles exiting the freeway. You continue across the bridge and move into the left turn lane, which will merge directly onto I-15 northbound. Not too complicated, especially since there will be signs and street markings that will make this whole process easy and intuitive when you're driving it. Now let's say you want to cross the freeway from east to west. You can use any of the regular traffic lanes. Simply follow the pavement markings and continue through the next crossing intersection where you'll switch back to the right side of the roadway. Exiting the freeway through a DDI will be a little different as well. Let's say you're driving northbound on I-15 and want to head east. You exit the freeway and stay to the right when the off-ramp divides, then simply turn right and merge with eastbound traffic. If you want to exit northbound I-15 to head west, stay on the left side when the off-ramp divides. The DDI configuration allows you to merge directly into westbound traffic lanes without having to cross eastbound traffic. Continue across the bridge, following directional signs and markings, until you come to the crossing intersection, where the westbound lanes will switch back to the right side of the roadway, then continue west. All of these movements will be clearly signed and marked, so you'll know exactly what to do.